Der wir jagen. Biff. The streets of Kadara are safe again. You did good, Ryder. Don't worry. I'll let all the important people know who to thank. Always good working with you, Reyes. Next time, let's skip the murder and go straight to the bar. Name the time and place. I'll be there. That's the spirit. Don't be a stranger, Pathfinder. Can you please not always fucking
have no clue what this means. But... I... I don't know but I need to go into the caves or... I don't understand, I mean, and I don't... What's up, Ryder? Why an emergency meeting? I didn't call it. I did. Got some disturbing news while we were on Kadara. There's some tension at the Krogan colony on Eladin. It's bad. Tension among Krogan? You don't say. I wouldn't waste your time with this if it wasn't important. We need to go. I agree. Nakmore Morta made herself overlord of the colony. It's weird. No. Our priority is the Archon. We have to remain focused on his next move. Jal's right. I know dealing with so many unknowns is frustrating, but we need to hear each other out. Well, as long as we're pitching stuff, I overheard outlaws on Kadara talking about activity in the Ramav system. No, that's the system where the Turian Golden World was supposed to be. Ramav? There aren't any viable planets there. Only an asteroid field with mining ventures run by criminals. I hear Eladin's pretty rough too. Roving scavengers with nothing to lose. Crap. No one fights harder than people with nothing to lose. But now that we have the transponder, we're so close to finding the location of Archon's ship. Our goal is to create our home here. You never know how something might fit in. Anyway, 
Get Kalid and Av points for both Elodin and that potential Turian Golden World. We want all our options ready to go. Hey, I didn't say dismissed or meeting adjourned or anything. Meeting adjourned. As you were. Pod room, as usual. Got a minute? Gil, here's that cat transponder. The spy used it to get his orders. What do we need from it? The location it points to. Should give us a fix on the Archon's ship. <sighs> right. It's not like there's much riding on this. Just our best chance to find Meridian. Pressure. I like that. Luckily, no matter where you go in the universe, physics still applies. Only so many ways of communicating across space. There. Give it a shot. Did you connect the... <laughs> Shit, turn it off. Careful. That is a direct line to people who want to murder everyone on this ship. Sam? I have the coordinates. The signal points to the Tafino system. We sure we want to do this? I know we're still getting our feet wet, but I don't see another choice. <laughs> I knew running off to Andromeda would be dangerous, but shit. This is... Dangerous. Only if we die. If we're going to live here, someone has to take the plunge and actually try to eat things. Dr. Tapero, please do something. Don't do it, Suvi. You told on me. I thought we were friends. You, sir, are uninvited from all my parties. Uh, wait, come somewhere. Wait, uh.
Joel. Thank you for checking. But I'm all right. Don't know if I would be. I have to be. How else do we go on? You know? I may seem tough, but I have a good shoulder. That's kind. You're kind. I really miss my family at times like these. Are you close to your family? I was. I am. My mom and dad are dead. My sister's really sick. She's on the Nexus. I'm kind of an orphan at the moment. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, this random collection of Tempest oddballs can feel like family sometimes. Yeah. I never really felt I had a purpose. But here, I do. What about the Resistance? My place in the Resistance is not what I'd like. But that kid on Aya looked up to you. Sure. But you are going to do something important, Ryder. I feel it. This is where I should be. You bring a lot to the team. Thank you. I look forward to even more adventures. There's always more to say and to learn, isn't there? Can I ask you a few more questions? Of course. If I can answer them... <sighs> well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Joel. Stay strong and clear. Can he tell me what I want with him? What can I do for you, Pathfinder? Can you tell me more about the cat occupation? It's a difficult subject. I'll answer what I can. I may get emotional. Have the cat always been here? No. Some, like the Moshai, are old enough to remember the time before the cat. But I don't. Nor do my mothers. And the Archon came with them? We think so. Resistance intel on that is unclear, and few have seen him in person. And lived to tell? And lived to tell. What's living under the cat been like for you? Do you really want to hear about these things? They're painful. I asked, didn't I? It's like living on unstable ground. Every day brings more horrible news. I part company with someone not knowing if I'll ever see them again. When I was a boy, my father vanished from my life. One horrible day. Was he in the resistance? No. He was a technician at a mine. He went to work and didn't come home. That happens for an Angara child somewhere, every single day. When the cat came, why didn't you fight? They didn't give us a reason to. Until they did. Then it was too late. Perhaps you think we were weak? But the cat are ruthless. They are masters at knowing exactly when and how to strike. I get that. Believe me. Hmm. Well, enough about that. Do you have a mate? A partner? I don't. Not for a long time. Not for a long time? <laughs> I fell in love with a girl once. Alia. We were young. <laughs> I was young. It was my first vassal on Aya. We worked on the same farm. She was a little older. 
a researcher. I can still hear her laugh and see her eyes. She kissed me and I was hers. Thrilled and seduced. But it didn't work out? My older brother came to Aya. He was already famous in the Resistance. Where's Aaliyah now? Did she and your brother work out? They came back to Haval, and she joined our family. She became one of the mothers. You have to see her every day? No. They were taken by the kit. Their children survived. Well, enough about that. I want to learn more about your species. What? What? No. Well, enough about that. I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and clear. Oh, can you please clear that fucking quest? What can I do for you, Pathfinder? What would you like to know? Really, I just no skip it through to an... Of course. We did have space flight, and she's beloved. I love her. Really? So one of those... <laughs> no, uh, not that way. Moshe Sefer is 100... No. Well, enough about that. It's just... It stays. No clue. There's pirates all over this region. You'd think they'd run out of people to steal from. I'm picking up something. We're on course.
Sam, send Callow the nav point provided by our Krogan contact. Drac, we're landing on Eladin to rendezvous with Jorgal Strux. On my way. Where is this meeting place exactly? Called the Paradise. Middle of nowhere, as far as I can tell. Paradise is different for a Krogan. Who lives here besides the Krogan? Scavengers with nothing to lose. Criminals chucked out of Kadara. Gonna be interesting. I'm gonna head to the colony, smooth the waters. Heat levels increasing. Environment check. Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. Ania, run. <laughs> oh, really? Game. My people consider Eladin uninhabitable. But she manages yeah, to make a life here. Somehow. Get out of my way. Hey, I recognize your insignia. Your Nexus, right? A Pathfinder. Kent Halsey, Nexus Security. Didn't know your duties reached all the way to Eladin. It doesn't. I'm here for... personal reasons. My sister Isabel fell in with the wrong people. She joined the Rebellion and was exiled to Kadara. Somehow, she pissed off enough people to end up in this hellhole. Your security and your sister's a troublemaker. Puts you in an awkward situation. I don't care about that. I'm here to find her. I know she can't come back to the Nexus, but we can start over on Kadara. Together. You're a good brother, Kent. Don't congratulate me yet. The problem is, I underestimated this planet. I don't have a vehicle or a way to survive the heat. I'm stuck before I've even started. Don't worry. I can track Isabel down for you. I hoped you'd say that. I think the salvager from Kadara has info on her. She wouldn't give me anything, but maybe you can get her talking. heard about this. Ania sells water out here. That must be where she stores it. What are you looking at? Um, what? Nothing. Really? Because it looks like you're looking at me. I don't like it. 
I'll look where I want. Yeah, maybe I'll shoot whoever I want. I thought the rule was no guns. That won't protect you outside the gates. If you see me there, you better run. Pathfinder, is it necessary to engage with this individual? I don't see how it helps our cause. Right. Let's just back away slowly, guys. Ryder, I heard that little... exchange. I don't understand it. They screened every initiative applicant. How did so many of them end up violent and unstable? You think something's up? That's what I want to find out. Can you scan the scavengers here in the Paradise and transmit the data to me? And, you know, be discreet. Well, well, look at you. I'm good at reading people. Want me to guess who you are? Shoot. A Pathfinder. How'd you know? I cheated. I run salvage to Kadara. Word travels fast there. Should hear what the Collective is saying about you. Well, now I'm curious. I will repeat it, for your sake. Take it easy. Always do. Oh, always these. You've survived the gang leaders and the worms so far. I'm impressed. What am I, your personal database? Good point. Well, can we please not... I'm not surprised. ...go through all of these dialogue trees here without knowing what's important? No more than I have to. Slavery, cannibalism, gang leader worship... It's enough to make my skin crawl. Strong words from one of their customers. I buy from them. Might be safe here, but out there, if a gang leader wants... Thank you. And I really don't care which one was the important dialogue option. It's a better exchange. Why? Because you say it is. Wow. Be careful around that one, Ryder. Got it. I'll add it to my databanks. Data's not coming through. Try another one. Good, but these are all of the worlds then, it seems. Gonna 
get a better the circuit. Yeah. Oh, Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Life support at 100%. Are you Jorgel Strux? Maybe. You who I think you are. I'm the Pathfinder from the Nexus. You asked me to meet you here? Yeah, I did. Thanks for coming. Losing the Krogan was a big deal to a lot of us in the Initiative. Some of my best friends are Krogan. I didn't want to leave the Nexus, but I needed to support my people and my clan. So, there's problems at the Colony. Is heading to a bad place. We can't be there anymore. Morda's become a tyrant. Did she kick you out? It hasn't come to that yet, so we're laying low. I want to keep my eye on her. She's planning a strike against the Nexus. That much we know. The audio logs you sent do sound like something bad is brewing. Morda is going to rip this colony apart. And then we're all going to die. You might be underestimating yourselves. Everyone needs food and water, even Krogan. Mortis rationing. My group thinks the Krogan should make peace with the Nexus. We need the Krogan, and the Krogan need us. We all came to Andromeda as one. We should at least try to fix this. Well, there won't be a colony to make peace with if Morta ruins it. You don't believe me? Go to the Krogan colony yourself and see what she's planning. Talk to Ravenar Brink. He's one of us, on the inside. If the safety of the Nexus is really on the line, I'll go. Better hope she doesn't shoot me on sight. Yeah, that'd be a bad omen.
So, Elodin. Charming so far. What do we got? Besides the sand. The Revenant monolith suggests this was indeed supposed to be a golden world. It also suggests the presence of a vault. Additionally, here is the large derelict remnant ship that we saw as we landed. Hopefully abandoned? Scans indicate it is not. The site is active with scavengers and remnant bots. Here, scavengers have taken over an abandoned camp between the two. In this direction, located in one of the planet's sinkholes, is New Tachanka, the Krogan colony. Sinkholes? Sounds fun. Not really. Elodin is tidily locked to its sister moon and that gas giant above. This side of the moon never cools. Getting trapped in a sinkhole without shelter would mean certain death, as one's blood would boil in 75 seconds. And on that cheery note, let's head for the climate-controlled paradise of the Nomad. Approaching the refuge of Dirk Barrett. We are not hostile. Repeat, not hostile. Please do not shoot. Well, that's new. Well, it's better. I... Pathfinder, I'm Dirk Barrett. I speak for everyone you see here. Glad you're hearing me out instead of shooting me in the face. <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> Oh, the double choice. <laughs> oh. I, I'm really... I'm tempted. It never really hurts to listen. I agree. Most of the people who live here don't, as I'm sure you've noticed. They kill anything that moves, including each other. Long-term prospects for survival? Zero. Me? I haven't lost my mind. I don't want to die. Neither do these people. That's why I need your help. Well, I am the Pathfinder, and I'm pretty sure my job description includes help people survive in Helios. So, shoot. What do you need? First, we need to move. This shelter is small and can't be fortified. Another gang has taken over a base about 20 clicks from here. Beautiful setup they don't know how to use. <laughs> Idiots taking apart the walls for scrap. If you can help us clear them out, I think we'll be good. 
I'll see what I can do. Thanks, Pathfinder. Anything else you need to know, just ask. Nothing else right now. I'll head out. All right. Won't keep you. I detect above normal temperatures. Temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support restored. Sounds like Morta and her clan still hold a grudge against the Nexus. It's amazing they managed to set up any kind of working colony on this hellscape. Amazing or crazy? And the Krogan seem to be a bit of both. Mining zones in this region. Technology was built by the scavengers. Sam, another memory prompt? One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samload on the Hyperion. To investigate further. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Mining zones have been added to your nav system, Pathfinder.
is unbearable. I detect a considerable temperature drop in shaded areas. Yeah, so I am. Cat. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. are climbing Pathfinder.
Damn. That was another memory gate, Sam. And the last. However, a deeper level of encryption is in place. Unfortunately, the conditions to unlock it haven't yet been satisfied. Well, let me know when that changes. No telling what Dad was up to.
These big monsters are absolutely unnecessary for the game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is so ridiculous. Oh, game, really. Showing me a loading screen? Yeah. How great. Wow. Levels are climbing, Pathfinder. Detected Pathfinder. They're gone. Sam, we should have Mason's genetic profile in the initiative database. Let's check it against the pods. Subject is too old. Subject is a child. Turian, but not their Pathfinder. This one's got power. Reading, negative. Not Mason Barrow. Help me get it open. Pathfinder, the body has no vitals. Sam, check the pod's history. 
According to the final log, this stasis pod was jettisoned from Ark Natanus. Maybe they hit the Scourge and panicked. The timeline doesn't match. This pod was ejected long after Natanus was reported missing. These stasis pods were dumped for a reason. Willingly. Or not. We should finish checking the pods for Mason, then report back to Avidus. Mason Barrow, Pathfinder. Hopefully that means he's still alive. Reading a normal temperature range, Pathfinder. Life support is stable. You should be able to locate these glyphs, Pathfinder. Auf der Mühe. Ah. Gott erlaubt. Detect no additional glyphs in the area.
has to be you know, at least if the other one are on me. I guess there are multiple solutions here. You know. be one of them. Okay. Ah, I see we only have five symbols. Okay. 